Welcome, family and friends. We've got rally car driver Natango in the driver's seat. Like a granny driving his car. It's pissing it down. I'm hoping it's not raining up north. That was the whole point of doing the south yesterday and the north today because I checked the weather and it's definitely gonna work out better for us. It's about two hour drive, 160 kilometers to the prettiest town in all of Bavaria. That town is called Rottenburg ob der Tauber. just arrived and the first thing we see is this that is called gallows gate given the name because that's where it used to hang everyone this was actually partially destroyed in world war ii like pretty much half of the town and here we are It does feel warmer in here. I think it's like a bit of a sun trap. The sun is shining, the weather is sweet. Yeah. Look at this, old, old school. Yeah, there's construction everywhere at this end, but maybe down there, there won't be so much. What, what day is it today? Sunday. It is Sunday today. Nothing is open. Nothing's open. Sunday. <laughs> Sunday is a holy day in, in Germany too. Is it? Yeah, it's illegal to work. It, what? It's illegal. Is it actually? No. <laughs> Good. Some areas of this town date back to the year 1250. It's like 775 years old. And it's actually well known for looking a lot like how it actually would have looked back in the day. It's been very well preserved. Of the 950 buildings within the walls of this city, 350 or so were destroyed or severely damaged in World War II. And then between the years 1950 to 1960, they started a massive restoration process. They did such a good job, in fact, that you wouldn't even know which ones have been refurbished and which ones have not at first glance. You can probably see just because of the wear and tear on the older buildings, Apart from that, the style is exactly identical. It's quite big in here actually, isn't it? Yeah, I know. It's way bigger than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. This mate. I don't know, but it's raining and I want to find a restaurant. Ni el restaurante, por favor. Right there. Here we go, done. Well, yeah, there wasn't supposed to be any rain here today. The weather forecast is just as bad here as it is at home. Unreliable. Pizza. Is it, it's not, uh, what are we getting? We don't go in there. We don't go in there, it's very posh in there. What about that? The what? Yeah. This looks so nice. Where are we? We're in Germany, love. And it does stop raining. I like how they got what they what what sort of shop they are on the building written, you know. Oh look, they have a Christmas shop. Oh yeah. Two Christmas shops. Look how happy she is. <laughs> Christmas in Germany is so magical. Hey, oh. Why do you have to be such a bar humbug? I'm not. You're a screw. I didn't say anything. I didn't say anything. You're sighing. I'm not sighing, I'm just... It's nice, I like it. It's like, I like all the little lights and the Christmas decorations and stuff. Oh, Nat, this is you. That's going to be you if you don't stop. 
<laughs> that was a good one. I like that. I got a lot of time for that. That was a good one. Lovely. Lovely little shop, isn't it? It is. This is a wooden, homemade little crafts. Yeah. Yeah, but how much are these little crafts? This is twenty two ninety five. Twenty three euros. Yes. And you just merely hang it from your tree. Twenty three euros for one decoration on your tree. <laughs> this here. Forty euros. These are eight. Eight euros each for that. <sighs> Mate, I need to get a Christmas shop. Mate, it's gonna cost you like a thousand euros to decorate your tree. Get a small tree. <laughs> have to. Hell mate, I can't believe that. What, how is this Christmassy? Not sure really. 100 euros. Do you reckon they're like handcrafted? Yeah. Do you reckon? Yeah. Look at that. It's pretty impressive to be handcrafted. German be craftsmanship is expensive because it's still to last for a Yeah, very true. Made in Germany is good. It's like cars. I was expecting us to get like a Volkswagen or maybe a BMW or a Mercedes, Audi. Nope, we get a Skoda. Let's see what the most expensive thing is I can find in here. I like I like that house a lot. 1,800 euros for that one. 1,800 euros in there. I could have a house that's... I don't know what I'll do with it or where I'll put it. Oh, then we have to come back at Christmas time one year. Christmas seems a little bit too expensive here in this country. We're going, well, to, we're going to Winter Wonderland in London. No. This is cool. I like this. Santa's, Santa's workshop, you mean? Yes. I think I found the most expensive thing in here. Five thousand seven hundred euros. It's actually impressive. Pretty cool. These little things going on in here. Look at these. I think they're cuckoo clocks. They look sick. They're well cool. I want to be in here when the clock strikes the hour. Pretty dear, but they're actually sick. I would love to have one of them on the wall. That's a, I found something I would actually like. A thousand euros. Thousand one hundred. One thousand five hundred. Look at it. <laughs> That's awesome. That's good. I like that. Thank you. These cuckoo clocks range in price from anywhere 450 euros to 2,500 euros. I'm very tempted to get one. They're so cool. I like them a lot. There's something about them that's very um, warm. So cute. It's electric. I was expecting that to start up and be like an old school motor, you know? It's bloody electric, it's just a toy car. Disappointing. It's pretty big, this place. Bigger than I thought it would be. I thought it was going to be like a couple of little roads, but there's this goes on and on, doesn't it? Yeah. I suppose 950 buildings is quite big. Yeah. The cool thing about this place is it feels like a fake city. You know, like the tourist 
the tourist cities where it's like sort of set up to be sort of medieval times. You find them in certain countries. This is actually a real town. People still live here and it's not just a, some sort of fake, fake city tourist attraction. around with it. It's actually really difficult. What's the master of work? <laughs> of course. Beautiful. Very beautiful, madam. I'll go and make my dinner. <laughs> I think it's something like this. Green Chili, one. Prickly pear wine. Should we just get two? Well, how much are they? Ten euros. Oh. Get one each. These are sick. I like these. I like the bottles. Cannabis honey wine. I basically just want the bottle. Boom. Bailey's cappuccino. Oh, yeah, yeah. Got stir it, yeah. Cream's nice. That's all I've had so far, it's cream. <laughs> Cream's nice, but that's what you've had. Yeah. It's not even cream, it's froth milk. Same thing. It's nice. It's well nice. Do you mean don't taste it? I don't really think it is of anything. <laughs> no, you've got the shoot one there. If you like cakes, beer, meat, spitzler, potatoes, cheese, cheese, blue vine, sausages. And mulled wine. You will love it here. There's so much sweet stuff. There's a lot of cakes. They love their cakes and cookies, man. I like all the colours. Look at it. Proper cute little town. All these windows, they've got all these windows all the way up here. Oh, there's a spire over there. I think there's a uh, church or something over there in the tanga. I'm so cold. Yeah, it is cold. This is the coldest we've been for a while, isn't it? It's since January. Yeah. We haven't been in eight degrees since January. Ooh. This is St. Jacob's Church, St. Jacob's Kirche. Oh, there you go. The altar of the Holy Blood. Churches always creep me out a little bit. You can tell there's been sacrifices made. Yeah, I know, you can feel the aura of the sacrifice. Thank you. 
biggest organ I've ever seen. And that can play them, can't you? Yeah. And that's a master on the organ and the triangle. Like I should sing for people. Children to be a priest. Children too. Oh, I don't fucking remember. Don't say that. Forgive her, father, for she has sinned. <laughs> How weird is this? Never seen anything like this before. And they got them fairly often. Look at this. The cigarette machine. Look, you put your little, put your card in here, or your coins. You press which one you want. Did I? <laughs> press your, press your bloody thing. These people are doing something, some nefarious activity going on over there. <laughs> They're looking sus as hiding behind the, hiding behind the trees and that. Yeah, you put your money in there. Bosh! You get your cigarettes. You get your lung cancer. I don't know. They're doing something dodge. Yeah, yeah, yeah fucking dodgy ass, man. <laughs> what the f are they doing? <laughs> she was just videoing inside the room. Though. Yeah. But the geezer's standing there, like, looking past the I tree, know. like, that, like, don't feel me. <laughs> weird. Very weird. Should have asked them. They probably don't speak English. Excuse me, but I thought you You could have translated. No, I don't know German. <laughs> Alright, that was Rottenburg ob der Taube. Rodenburg of der Tauber. There you go, that's where we've just been. That was a really good day. We've been there for hours. I thought we thought it was only gonna be we were only gonna be there for like an hour or two. Yeah. We've been there for ages. It's uh it's twenty past three now. What time do we get there? Eleven? Something like that, yeah. We've been there for like four four or five hours. It's, it's, there's a lot there's a lot of uh, area to cover there and Nat wanted to walk down every single cute street she saw, so we were there for ages. Um, it's well worth a visit that place, honestly. That was sick. And if you can go there at Christmas, do it. Yes, I think a Christmas would be awesome there. They've got a lot of Christmas shops there. They probably go all out at Christmas. So if you're proper into your Christmas markets and all your decorations, your lights and all that sort of jazz, then that would be sick there. Uh, yeah, it, it was good there. I like it. It's such a nice, uh, it's such a nice place. And I love the fact that it's not just a a, a model city it's actually a, a real city people still live there and it's all completely original it's yeah it's awesome that was a good it's a good place there that was i had a great great time there so yeah two hour drive back now then it's off for some lovely food my favorite time of day terrible picture quality in here guys it's very dark we found this little uh restaurant in augsburg you have to go down a little uh it's basically underground very dark in here but it looks pretty cool the menu i cannot read a thing look at this yeah, neither can i <laughs> nat can't read it either i've just picked something on the menu close your eyes and just that's the best way to do it when you can't read the menu it's exciting i don't know what i'm gonna get but this is true bavarian food we've got we've even found a german wine natalia ordered it accidentally what a great way to end the weekend Hopefully the food's good. We found this, it was just like pure, pure luck. You would never find it. So this is what I've ordered. And this is what Nat's ordered. Neither of us have any idea what, what it is. What so is it's exciting. So we decided to drive here because it's getting a little bit late. It's very cold outside. And in doing so, I nearly ran over a pedestrian. I went through a red light and I nearly crushed the car reversing down the street. Doesn't bode well, does it? On the last night as well, all these things happen. Should not have drove, should have just walked. And frozen our asses though. And frozen. It was a pain in the ass drive. Just walked across the road to get dinner kebab. It's because there was so many roads closed, they've got events on going on in, in the town. I had to go around all different weird ways. <laughs> He's tripped over that chair three times. <laughs> He's finally taking it away. <laughs> right, I swear it's getting darker in here, but you get this, look at this style. 
That's like a whole pack of sausages on there. Ridiculous. You get so much meat with these dishes. They're so like generous portions. Look at the size of it. Eating here is good value for money, isn't it? It's well good. And it's nice. Yeah, its portions are huge. And it's good like proper hearty meals as well. You feel really full by the end, but not sick full. You don't feel like you've eaten a load of trash. You feel good by the end of it. I love the German food. It's well nice. So I think what I've ordered is Spitzler, that stuff that we spoke about the other night. The sort of noodles, pasta sort of stuff. I think I've got a steak on here. And I think I've got a pork steak. And I've got some nice vegetables as well. Some proper steamed vegetables, roasted vegetables. Steamed. Steamed. It's a good though. And if you try that with mustard and sauerkraut, it's 10 out of 10. Is it? What sour crowd? Fermented Great. cabbage. Fermented cabbage. Yeah. Oh, that. Right, so that's not. I thought that was pasta. No. So I've got sausages here with um, mustard and sauerkraut. That is such a German, German taste, that. This is the taste of Germany, apparently. That is fermented cabbage, mustard, and sausage. Well not. Strong flavour in it. It's good though. It's all well nice. I've not had one bad German meal. Literally not one. Kirschpetzler with onion. This is Kirschpetzler with um, crispy, onion. crispy onions. The the Spitzler stuff that I've got that's kind of like a pasta, it's that, but it's with cheese, isn't it, yeah? That's well nice, fucking hell. It's the cheese, the cheese makes it, fucking hell, that is good. Mmm. Here's Spitzler. Give that a go if you come here. Mmm, good stuff. Yeah, the Kirsch Spitzler is basically like a German version of mac and cheese, if you can imagine. A little bit more dense, isn't it? Um, yeah, it's very good. These, honestly, these sausages with the mustard and the sauerkraut, that, I, I've not tasted anything like that before. I don't even know what it tastes like. It's a very nice flavour though. Give it a go. Well, Ratzkeller in Augsburg was a great success. That food was good. Nats. Good value for money as well. Good value for money. And it was your favourite meal yet? Favourite. Yay! I like it. Anyway, good night, people.